sea security in your state, and by extension, the entire country, given the level of killings that continue to go on in your state and also in the whole country. What kind of cooperation or support are you getting from the federal government? Ruben Mabati, thank you very much. Uh, I want to appreciate Arise Television for standing for the truth, standing for the people, and becoming a voice for the voiceless. Because in Nigeria today, we have a situation where propaganda and deceit and lies are flying all over the place, instigated by the federal government. And so I appreciate you. Some other media organization would not like to listen to me talk, but you have given me the opportunity. I want to say that the day that the federal government wants insurgency to stop in Nigeria and in Benue State, it will be done. Unfortunately, I have consistently accused the federal government for being complacent. And I have proof to show to the entire world the federal government is complicit. Tell me, even me as governor of Benue State, attempted assassination was done on me for more than one year. Up to today, no copies have been brought to book. And as I talk to you, even those that I was told as governor of Benue State that they were arrested, they have been freed. These are Fulani herdsmen or militia who were arrested and they have been freed. The person they are prosecuting is my cousin and a Jukum fisherman who had no link with what happened to me when I was attacked more than one year ago. So this is the challenge that we have. The day that the federal government wants this insurgency and killings and invasion and taking over of our land by these Fulani herdsmen, any day that the federal government wants it to stop. But for now, I accuse them to be complicit because severally, I have provided a solution and say that the way to go, can we have a security summit where Samuel or Tom will be there to talk about the facts that are available in my own state? And then we can listen to other states who will tell us what has been going on in their state. And then we'll try to provide a solution if the federal government wants that. So today, I want to say that the federal government is complicit and until they are ready to work with us. Uh, but because it is a planned agenda over 200 years ago that they have planned to take over Nigeria as their country and it will continue to be. Whatever people say about me is immaterial. But I say the truth. And anybody who thinks that I'm not saying the truth should come out and provide a superior argument on what I'm saying. Today, it is a very big challenge, it is a problem, and without security, there is no way we can move forward in this country. And so, I still want to insist that federal government is complicit, and I stand on that, and I have proof. If opportunity is given to me, today that I'm talking to you, uh, in the next 15 minutes, the program will be over. But if they call a security summit, which I have been advocating since 2017, if they will call, I'm ready to provide documents 
I'm ready to provide material. I'm ready to provide evidence that truly this government is complicit and they're just deceiving people. It has been their stock in trade as far as I'm concerned. And so that is where we are. Right. Could you give us a picture of why you think that certain local governments seem to be worst hit by the activities of these gunmen? It is not, it is not just about uh, certain local governments. It's about the entire state. It's about the entire country. Nigeria, tell me, where else? Is it in Zamfara? where the Hausa people live, and the Fulanese have decided to take over their land. Is it in Kaduna, where the indigenous people were either traditionalists or Christians? Now they have been taken over. Is it in the southeast? Is it in the middle belt, where the Fulanese have decided that they are going to take over this country and actively they are being supported by the present government of President Muhammad Buhari. When I say they are not happy with me, they are angry, but that is the truth. I have chosen to say the truth and even if I am dead, let it be on record just like Martin Luther King in America who stood for the blacks and say the truth. I'm ready to do it. This is the truth. The Fulanis are deceit. They have made up our mind to take over Nigeria as their own country and using Islam as a tool to ensure that they are in control. But the real agenda is not even about Islam. Islam, if you go to the southwest, there are the same family household. There are some who are Muslim. There are some who are Christians. There are some who are traditionalists, but they stay together. But here, the program is to use Islam and then take over the country. President Obasanjo, and I am sure somebody who has ruled this country as former military president, somebody who has ruled this country as a civilian president. If he comes out to say a thing, we should be very serious about it. President Obama just said that, look, this current government led by Muhammad Buhari is about Islamizing, it's about Fulanizing, but the Fulanizing is the main agenda that they want to implement in this country. Some of us, that is where we are. The Bible says that you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. We cannot be complacent. We cannot keep quiet. We cannot just say anything. For some of us, we have chosen to say the truth. Even if we are going to die, let us die. And let tomorrow appreciate what we said. And so, as far as I'm concerned, the federal government is complicit. The day they want this insurgency to finish, it will be done. Actively, they are working with Turkey, they are working with Saudi Arabia, they are working with everything to Islamize. But the real agenda is to take over Nigeria. And all these insurgents that you see happening is from Mauritania, is from Senegal, is from Cameroon, is from all over the place, trying to ensure that the indigenous people of this country do not have a say, but the Fulanese have a say. We are not against Fulani people. In government here in Benue said, I have Fulani people who are in my government. I have no issue about Fulani, indigenous people. Everybody in this country, Nigeria, comes from somewhere. Even the T people, where I govern today as governor, they come from somewhere. But we have settled today. Because of the rise in population, there is nowhere you can say that the T people or Benue people should leave Benue state to go to Cameroon, where is the land? To go to where? Where is the land? And so this is the main problem that we're having in this country. If this government will appreciate and stop deceit 
against the people. We shall all work as a team. Nigerians, wherever we come, let us cohabit and live together. But where a particular ethnic group wants to take over the country and make some of us slaves, I can never be a slave to anyone. It is better I die and not be alive. I cannot be a slave to any Flanny man. Flanny should live their life. The T people should live their life. The Yoruba people should live their life. Hausa people should live their life. Every other person should live their life. But not making me your slave. The matter of slave trade is gone. And all of us must focus and work together to ensure that we live a life. Because today, we are not living in a feudal government. We are not living in a, an autocratic government. But we are living in a government that is democratic. All right.